Hello and welcome back to the third Prehistoric Fury dev blog. Firstly, I'm sorry this video is a bit late. Anyways, this dev blog will be including two new recently announced dinosaurs as well as some other cool stuff. Anyways, I'm Jordan, also known as Hotshot Raptor, and welcome to the channel. I upload a wide amount of content on this channel from Prehistoric Fury, World of Tank, Comedy, and more. If you'd like to see this and you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Anyways, let's get right into this video. Now this video is going to be focused on the dinosaur side of news for the game and what a better way to start this off than with a new skin for our very first dinosaur, Gorgosaurus. This is the Berserker skin. This skin shows off a more unrealistic side to the skins in the game and it shows off the fact that we are trying to cater to two audiences, those who like realistic and those who like unrealistic skins. However, there will be an option for those who don't like unrealistic skins to disable them in the future. The skin will be rewarded after completing a set of creature specific mission that's specific to Gorgosaurus. This will show that you have truly mastered this dinosaur to other players. I've been waiting to show off our very own Tyrant Lizard King for a very long time and I'm really glad to be able to reveal it in this video and this is the North American Tech Tree's very first tier 10 Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus is the planned tier 10 in the Tyrannosaur line, more specifically the heavy carnivore line rather than the medium carnivore line which is also made up of Tyrannosaurs as well. Before the official release of Prehistoric Fury, Tyrannosaurus Rex will be researched through Gorgosaurus, however that will change as Gorgosaurus will be more fitted towards a medium carnivore line and then will be moved into a medium carnivore line before the official release. In Prehistoric Fury, Tyrannosaurus Rex will play as a heavy carnivore, a heavy hitter with a big slab of health and decent mobility. The sensors of Tyrannosaurus stand out from the rest of the Tyrannosaurs with it being the best sensors for its class, allowing you to outspot most enemies apart from most herbivore type. The dinosaur was modelled by Bill Guyen and some of the skins were designed by Jordan Clark. The skins are Null, Clavo, Tyrant, which has two optionable ripe colours, neon and red, and then the frostbite skin as well. And now for the newest dinosaur to join the game, this is Bistahi Versor, and it will join the other four dinosaurs in being the fifth creature in the game. A more recently described dinosaur joins the heavy carnivore line at tier 8, with Tyrannosaurus and Daspletosaurus at tier 9 and 10. Like the others in the tech tree, Bistahi Versor is a heavy brawler, a troublesome opponent at tier 8, and a force to be reckoned with. The dinosaur has exceptional damage per bite, as well as a good amount of health, allowing you to easily have the upper hand when brawling with enemies. However, Bistai Versor has some poor points, and that is its poor sensors and it's weak to critical damage. This means it is weak to bone breaking. Anyways, the dinosaur will have the most skins in the game, being six skins. So these skins are the Navajo skin, Tropical skin, the Python skin, the Poison Arrow skin, the Panthera skin, and the Grey Tips skin. Skin. The Poison Arrow, Grey Tip and Python skins are reward skins, one of which is a very rare skin. To get into some upcoming news, the animations for the dinosaurs are being worked on, they are not fully done yet and are quite rough, however they are being worked on in the background. And in the future we'll be holding a vote after the Asian herbivore line is fully finished, we'll be holding a vote for the third line to come in the game. Firstly, we'll be doing a vote for what the next continent will be, and then a vote on the line. Anyways, that's it for us. Next week's dev blog is going to be more technical side, and Wapted's going to be going over that. That will be coming out sometime this month, end of October, and between then and now there'll be a Dinopedia entry for Tyrannosaurus Rex and possibly Bistai Versor, which you guys can obviously check out down below. Anyways, if you like the game and you want to see more about it, you can check out the Discord server for it and the website for the game, as well as subscribing for some constant updates on the game and other videos that I'll be doing from then to now. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one.